Hey, what's happening, guys? I hope you all enjoyed uh, the guest video yesterday by Michael Padovani. Great video, Mike. Thanks for letting me share it with the guys. I'm sure they all appreciated it. And if you guys are looking for his code, I put it in the description of yesterday's video. So check it out. Good job again, Mike. Great job. Today we're going to talk about true power versus apparent power. Now, I've said it a hundred times. I, I'm sure you guys know by now. I'm a huge fan of Big Clive. Clive Mitchell is a, he is a savant. That's all I can say. I mean, the guy's just, he has a really innate knowledge of all things electrical and electronic, and I love watching his videos. And one of the things he talks about is apparent power and power factor and power factor correction. So I thought we could talk about that a little bit today so that if you guys are fans of Clive, you can understand a little bit more about what he's talking about, okay? So let's start out by talking about reactive loads. And this is in AC. If this were DC, we'd say resistive loads, but this is AC, so we're gonna say reactive loads. And we're talking about loads with inductors and capacitors. Now, one thing we have to know about them is that they dissipate zero power. But they drop voltage and they draw current. And that gives the deceptive impression that they do dissipate power. And what we call this is phantom power. Okay, it's measured actually in what's called VAR, and that is volts, amps, reactive. And another word for phantom power is reactive power. Okay, our symbol for reactive power is probably one of the most overused symbols in electricity and electronics and that is the capital Q. So we use the capital Q when we talk about reactive power. Now when we talk about true power such as the power dissipated by resistors and lamps and things like that well, then we're talking about true power, and that is always talked about with the capital P, and that's measured in watts, okay? So when we add Q and P, what we get is what we call, whoops, apparent power. Forgot what I was talking about. That happens as we get older, I guess. And the unit for apparent power is VA, volt amps, and it is symbolized by the capital S. We're just gonna whip out the entire alphabet here tonight, aren't we? Think about three rules. They're not hard and fast, any rules can be broken. But if we think about three rules, they can help us out. True power is a function of current dissipative elements, usually resistances. Okay? Reactive power is usually a function of a circuit's reactance, and we'll call that capacitive and inductive. And then we finally have our apparent power. And that comparant power is usually a circuit's impedance. So again, with more letters, now we're going to go R for resistances, X for capacitance, and Z for impedance. Now we've got lots of formulas we can use. So if we want to figure out P, our true power, we know that P equals I squared R, or P equals E squared divided by R. And that, of course, is measured in watts. If we want to measure Q, 
which is what? What's our Q? Our reactive power. Q equals I squared X. Q equals E squared divided by X. And if we want to measure S, our apparent power, it is I squared Z or S equals E squared over Z or S equals 1 E. I'm sorry, L times E. That's an L. It's a little L, but I made it a big L so you can understand. Or I forget, let's make sure we put in our units VAR and VA. So if we consider a circuit that looks something like this. We'll say 60 ohms, our I equals 2 amps, and we're going to use 120 volts, 60 hertz. All right, so we can figure out what we've got here. Our true power is equal to I squared R, or 240 watts. Our reactive power is equal to I squared X or 0 VAR. Why is that 0? What did we just talk about? Our reactive power is usually capacitance and inductance since there's none of them there. Then it's 0. And S, our apparent power which is I squared Z equals 240 volt amps. All right, now let's whip this around. That was a completely um, resistive load. Let's do it kind of our same circuit again, but this time we'll do a reactive load. And we'll say this is 160 millihenries. And again, 120 volts, 60 hertz. And our XL is 60.319 ohms. Okay. So now we know P, our true power, which is equal to I squared R, is zero watts. There is no resistive load. Our reactive power, which is I squared X, equals 238.73 VAR. That means our apparent power, which is I squared Z, is also equal to 238 0.73 VA. All right, you see where we're going here, right? Okay, here comes the big one. This is the payoff. Now we're going to have a resistive reactive load. Hundred twenty volts, sixty hertz, hundred and sixty. Micro Henry's with a capacitive reactance of 60.319 ohms and a 60 ohm load. Are you ready? All right, now you got to whip out all your formulas, tighten down your toque, and let's get to it. Here we go. P, our true power, I squared R, is equal to 119.365 five watts. Our reactive power, I squared X, equals 119.998 VAR. And our apparent power, which is I squared Z, or Z, 
is 169.256 volt amps. So you see the difference between our true power and our apparent power. And if the power companies do go and start charging us on apparent power instead of true power, well, there's going to be a problem. They're going to get some more money out of us, and that's just not a great thing. You know, we've always used the uh, Ohm's Law triangle to figure out Ohm's Law. Well, here's another triangle we could look at, and this one is a right angle triangle. We have our reactive power, our apparent power, and our true power. And right here, this is our phase angle. And you know, using the laws of trigonometry, we can solve for the length of any side, which is any of those given powers, if we know the length of the other two sides, the other powers. So it's kind of like Ohm's law, like Ohm's law times four, you know, <laughs> Ohm's law cubed, Ohm's law for AC circuits. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If it gave you a headache, give me a thumbs up anyway, because it's fun. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.